Now to an update on a story we first reported on yesterday. Attorney General announcing that Virginia and Maryland will be getting a cut of that massive multi-million dollar settlement with Google over the company's location tracking data. Our chief legal correspondent Katie Barlow joins us live outside of Google's headquarters to explain what all this means. Katie? Good evening to both of you. Well, all this started after a 2018 AP article said Google was tracking your location information even when you told them not to. Now Google has settled for $392 million with 39 states. And not only will a little over 10 million of that go to Virginians, a little over 8 million go to folks in Maryland, but now Google's going to have to give you more information about when you turn location tracking on or off. They can't hide the ball about location tracking, and they have to give you more detailed information about the type of data that they collect. In a statement, Google said to Fox 5 today that these requirements from the settlement are consistent with improvements that they've already made at Google. This settlement, Google says, was based on outdated product policies that were changed years ago. Now, Virginia Attorney General Jason Miara said Google violated consumer protection laws by misleading customers about its location tracking since at least 2014. Specifically, Google confused users about how much location information they were tracking. Location data can reveal deeply personal information about where you live, work, shop, worship, and what kind of activities you participate in. One expert says the settlement may be letting Google get off easy. The dollar amount of the settlement seems big, but when you consider that the, the practices in question were spread across uh, tens of millions of users, it's really only a few dollars per person. The settlement comes up short in a few key ways. Um, it doesn't really affect Google's core business model. It doesn't change the fact that the, the company is uh, you know, profiting handsomely from personal data that it collects and uses to target advertising. Attorney General Jason Miara has also said this is a part of the largest settlement in American history on consumer data privacy. Back to you guys.